right, round two. Let's get sweaty, friends. Miss Bree landing on top of this mountain over by Shifty. Gonna farm this tree for 120 wood. And already seems to have grabbed that chest. Actually, the other player there might have grabbed that chest. Azra is in lucky landing. Going for some chests, not sure. Oh my god, Miss Bree has a knock? That was an enemy. Okay, so Miss Bree's on the board first. She landed at that tree with an enemy. I thought that that was a teammate. That was not a teammate, that was an enemy. Miss Bree has a kill. Just like that. All right, Azra and Lucky Landing. We already checked in with him. He's drinking shields. He's going to be up to 100-100. Danny Phantom and Yonder Yard. He's got three teammates with him, so it's kind of a... Just a hunt for loot. He's got to hope to get to loot first. Dude, can you imagine if Miss Bree landed on that mountain and did not get that chest and just died instantly? <laughs> can you imagine? Miss Bree, no shields. Danny Phantom, no shields. Searching for loot, hoping he finds something. He's not finding much. Miss Bree's going to head north. She's getting aggressive. We actually have two teammates at Tilted. She might be trying to meet up with them, but definitely has to be aware that teammate or sorry, enemies might have landed shifty. So she's pushing she's pushing into what could be a pretty scary spot. Azra, I think, is completely safe. <laughs> Just getting low. Oh, he's in a fight, but he's in a great spot, and he gets that kill. So Azra's gonna be the second one with a kill in this game. Danny Phantom is gonna be the third. Just for tiebreaker's sake. Azra actually got two kills there. Not sure if anybody's still here. Azra was able to get two kills. I was not watching for that. But wow, the loot, dude. Azra has endgame loot already. He's got a heavy shotgun. He's got extra shields. He's got everything. He decides he doesn't want to drink the full shield. Because I guess fuck that 16 shield. I don't know. But Azra is now at two. Danny Phantom going to go and meet up near Azra. They're actually very close to each other. Danny Phantom pushing into you. Fatal. Miss Bree in shifty in fights right now. She gets a knock. She gets an Elim. There's two kills for Bree. Bree hears more footsteps. She still has no shields. I don't think she would mind getting those shields Azra had. This guy seems to be slightly potato. 25 blue followed by 24 white. So this guy's weak. But she might hear more footsteps here. This might be more than one player. I think this guy is hiding somewhere behind that wall. I don't think he's there. I think he... Made it on past the fence. Nope, he's right underneath. Oh, the pump! <gasps> Whoo, a little bit scary there for Miss Bree. She's getting clingers thrown at her now. She grabs the pump. Pump headshot kills her right there. Definitely a scary spot. Azra with two, Miss Bree with three. Danny Phantom yet to find anybody. Miss Bree had some clingers coming at her from the houses. She's gonna push on towards it. Still no shields. Still in a very dangerous spot right now. Using that grenade launcher to try to get him. But now grenade launcher's coming towards her. One will kill her. With no shields, one grenade launch is enough to knock. Gonna take the opportunity to farm a few mats here. Check in with Azra. Make sure he's not involved in anything. Nope. But he definitely didn't drink that full shield, which is surprising. Danny Phantom's still looking for people. Sees a full shield, so he'll finally have shields. Miss Bree pushing around the side here. Shield mushrooms everywhere. One's even floating in the sky. So she's using shield mushrooms here to possibly survive those grenade bounces. I think with 110, she should survive one. She actually saw the enemy player leaving. Not sure if she noticed it, but there was a guy running up on the hill over here. So the enemy player that was shooting grenades might have run away towards teammates. Not 100% sure. We got 50 enemies still left in this game. So even though that loom dude is going in, loom is going in, man. Even with that, we're still chilling. They got plenty of time. They got plenty of kill potential. Miss Brief getting some clingers of her own here. Back on board with Azra, who is near Danny Phantom. Told you, when you switch, you lag for a bit. It's weird. Wait, I turned off follow notifications. What is this? I guess I didn't. I guess the follow bot turned off. Good, good. What up, Bronze back? Azra chilling. Danny Phantom chilling. Both pushing together. It's going to be... Oh, we actually... Danny Phantom has spotted somebody un under the bridge. We'll go back to him in a moment. Miss Bree has a teammate with her now at Shifty. Drinking these mushrooms. Somebody died over there and she's like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? Uh, back to Danny Phantom who did spot somebody under the bridge. Sees somebody ahead right here in the field. Azra just a little bit behind here. Two players now that Danny Phantom sees. He's trying to get as close to them as he can without making enemies aware of his presence. 
Azura, I'm not sure he knows that these players are here. Danny Phantom is finding a lot of people, so it's about to get really dangerous for him, but he's got to go in for kills. He can't really afford to be passive, not with Bree with three kills and Azura with two. He's got to get some of his own. Two of the players seem to have split left. That's actually going to be where Azura is about to be. Danny Phantom's pushing up on one guy here, farming this tree, unaware of Phantom's presence. But Azra's about to run into some people too. Throwing some grenades. Pulling out his silence pistol. I think he hit a grenade shot there. This person's one shot. Azra did get a knock of his own. Phantom pushing in on this kill here. This person's very weak. They're trying to impulse away. Danny doing everything he can to get a knock. Isn't getting it. This person's speed building out of everything. Danny trying to build up to them. In a little bit of an awkward up-close fight here. 70 white. Danny gets the knock. Miss Bree gets another knock at the same time. So Miss Bree currently gonna have four. Yep, Miss Bree up to four. She's by tilted. Azra with three. I'm not sure if Bree. Yo, oh, Bree definitely has other enemies nearby. Places a trap to protect her. Sees two people building to her left. One player fighting to her right. She decides to leave her structure and push this player, but she is exposed from the left while doing this. 22 blue, 65 blue, 74 blue, and the knock. So there's kill number five for Bree. She's actually going to go for the good karma revive here, it seems like. After she finally finishes reloading her shotgun. Good karma revive inbound for Miss Bree. Meanwhile, Danny Phantom gets another knock over here. As we're trying to snake some of the kills, going to be unable to do it. Finishes Danny Phantom's kill for him, though. 5 3 2 anybody's ball game 42 enemies still in this game back on board with miss breed seems like another enemy is nearby yep one more enemy there she takes a little bit of fall damage she's trying to get this kill before her teammate her teammate goes down again using that revive as a distraction miss breed might be out of ammo this is one of the most awkward things i've ever watched miss breed gets the knock and there she goes. The Karma Revive actually helped her there. The player ended up being kind of like a, a distraction. So she used this player as a distraction. Got the kill. Shotguns him in the face instead of reviving him. Uh, gonna revive this guy again. Karma Revive's working out in her favor. As we're up to three kills. Using Hop Rocks to try to get as close to the enemies as he can. It's gonna be a final fight near Pleasant and Tilted. So they're trying to get towards that so they can get some of these kills. Danny Phantom launch padding that was really confusing to watch. So he's going to pass Azra here on the launch pad. But he actually, there was a player on the right that he didn't notice that was shooting at Azra. Looks like a pretty easy kill. We'll go back on board with Azra to see how he's handling getting shot at by this guy. There's a guy behind this rock that looks like a pretty easy kill. Yep, and Azra got the knock on him already. Danny Phantom could have protected that. He could have actually landed on top of this guy and gotten the kill. Yo. Shopping cart. Azra getting hit from Dusty. 29 white damage. Seems like a player is coming in. Yep, Loom coming in and stealing that knock. So there's Loom. This guy's a good player. He has a ton of kills this game. Azra with four. Miss Bree with six. Danny Phantom with two. Phantom's got a lot of pressure on him to get a lot of kills. He's got a sniper out. No shields trying to find where these enemies might be rotating from. Miss Bree, meanwhile, near tilted. Miss Bree has the luxury of getting to play a little bit slower. She hears a fight happening southwest. This is not her teammates. It also could have been... She got sniped that from behind. She's got people now on the north and south side of her. I would be pushing that south guy, but she's not going for it. She's going for the person north instead. Hits the head snipe on the person behind the tree. Now going to rotate south and see if they can handle these players here. There's at least two of them. Miss Bree face to face with a no skin. 64 blue. Decides to protect build. Phantom with a knock at the same time. Clinger's going everywhere. Miss Bree gonna push this player to the left. The player to the right dealing some serious damage to her. She's getting hit hard. Bree trying to build, protect. Trying to figure out a way to get around this. This player is chasing her. She's at 64 health. The player has not yet gotten thirsted who she sniped. Going in for the kill. She keeps having weird issues happen with her shotgun. She does not get the knock. Detention gets it. Meanwhile, Azra gets a knock with a great fall. Let's move on board with him. He's currently thirsting that knock. So Azra's going to be up to five. 
Miss Bree, I think we'll be up to seven, unless that snipe is getting revived. Danny Phantom did get a third kill at the same time. Phantom with a knock with a snipe, 218 meters for Danny Phantom. Somebody in that tower, I believe. Yep, that person might fall their death while they crawl out. No? Not sure. Well, hell yeah, ball sack of Jawea. Danny Phantom pushing as fast as possible, trying to see if he can get this kill on the guy he knocked from 200 meters. Miss Bree, meanwhile, I don't think she ever did get the kill. No, she did. There it is. There's her seventh kill. The person had crawled all the way over there. She got her seventh kill with that thirst. Azura notices that Danny Phantom is involved in a serious fight here. Phantom notices two other players fighting each other. He gets the knock on one. There's another kill that he just got the knock on. Danny Phantom is cleaning up kills here. Two players right next to him. He goes in with a shotgun. Does not get that knock. Azra trying to get in this too. Danny Phantom up to six. Azra did not claim those kills. Loom actually claimed those kills. Seven to six to five. 11 enemies left. Phantom gets sniped from above. 36 blue damage on this player. Trying to knock down the ramps. Back aboard with Miss Bree. She's pushing into Pleasant. Everything seems pleasantly swell over there. Azra trying to get on board this fight here. Does get a knock. Does get their sixth kill. Six to six to seven. Miss Bree has the tie-breaking kill. Azra second place with that kill. Danny Phantom up to seven now. That was Danny Phantom's kill that Azra just thirsted. Tiebreaker goes in this order. We got Miss Bree, Azra. Danny Phantom will lose if he is tied. 7-7-6. Seven, seven, Danny Phantom might have just gotten another knock. As we're trying to push on up to this house, see if there's any enemies still left up here. There is a launch pad. Probably going to take this and look for enemies. He knows he's behind. He knows he's got to find kills. Only nine enemies left. Danny Phantom taking some time to heal. Miss Bree leading the charge through Pleasant. It's kind of a uh, big old question mark where these last nine people are. Danny Phantom and Miss Bree tied with seven. Azra with six. It is truly anybody's ball game. And this is why tournaments are fun to watch, friends. Danny Phantom, meanwhile, actually involved in a fight. Shotguns, somebody who might have just been downed. I think he still had somebody either knocked from a great fall or somebody knocked. Danny Phantom has eight kills. Not sure exactly how that just happened, but Danny Phantom's at eight now. So pressure's on Miss Bree. She's got to find some kills. Danny Phantom gonna possibly get wrecked by this storm not sure if he's gonna be able to outrun this so it might just be up to miss Bree and azra to get some kills meanwhile we're at the soccer field i think a goal has just been scored miss Bree sees a lot of builds north of her and she's gonna start pushing them i think that danny phantom is gonna go down to this storm but he is leading right now Miss Bree getting tagged a little bit. She's going to build up on the mountain here. There are a lot of enemies nearby. She sees one to the left that is unaware of her location. Going to try to get this kill, but that's a lot of blue damage. Doesn't even build the wall. She trusts that it's not going to matter. Detention gets the kill. Miss Bree gets that knock. That was important that she gets that one. Goes for the snipe, misses it. The guy builds up top to protect himself. There's another guy to the left. Azra a little bit behind here, trying to get in this fight before it's too late. Miss Bree doing everything she can to kill any of these people. Eight to eight to six. Azra is going to have to get a lot of kills very fast here to win this thing. Danny Phantom goes down to the storm as predicted. And he is actually going to lose this because Miss Bree wins the tiebreaker. So Danny Phantom, although he got to eight kills, he's not going to be able to advance. Hell of a battle for an Xbox player against two very good PC players, though. I have to hand it to him. Miss Bree in a hell of a build off here. It might be Azra lasering. It is Azra lasering. So Azra is in this fight now. They are together. It is seven to eight in this battle. Azra has to beat Miss Bree though because Miss Bree did get that first kill. Bree sees a player right in front of her. Bree going for it. Bree getting it. Azra now has to kill three of the last four. It's looking like it's going to be rough for Azra. He's got to get to 10 kills or Bree wins. I think Miss Bree is looking like the likely advancer of this round one. Loom gets another knock. Loom, if he was in this tournament, he might have won this thing. Three players left. Azra has to get all of them. And now there are only two. And that does it, folks. It's going to end with Miss Bree going to the finals. Congratulations, Miss Bree. That was a hell of a game to watch. That was awesome.
Miss Bree's gonna advance to the finals. Azra and Danny Phantom both having eight kills. Nothing they can do. Miss Bree didn't even need the tiebreaker to win. She claims it with that extra kill. Nine to eight to eight. And a hell of a first round, or a hell of a first game of round two. Damn, dude.